Hello everyone, welcome to Yorpedia Education. So in this video, I am going to discuss in detail how you can maximize your selection probability in interview when you will be appearing for interviews for MTech Research, MTech or PhD for this coming academic session summer 2024. As you all know, many IIT conduct interviews for MTech courses including IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay and many of the old IIT. And for MTech research or MS, interviews are always there 99% places and again same for the PhD. Now there is basically one smart way if your GATE score is low by putting some additional effort in interview preparation you can convert that low GATE score into selection and indirectly into great opportunity with a tag of premier institution like IIT. Now when you will be appearing for interview especially for MTech research MS, MTech, these two interviews, three parameters are very very important. First you need to define whether you are going for the core branch interview or non-core or interdisciplinary as you can see here. If I take example of electronics and communication, your communication and signal processing is core branch, RF and microwave is core branch, embedded is core branch, microelectronics, integrated circuit, solid state device, these all are the core branches. So if you are getting call from these branches for interview, then you need to prepare for VLSI, for integrated circuit and design, for solid state, three subject. One is the digital electronics, second is the analog electronics, third is the device physics. And in network theory or circuit theory, only one topic that plays very, very important role that is RC circuit transient. Charging and discharging of capacitor circuit. You don't need to go for inductor, transformer, two port network, very rarely questions are being asked from there. Now in analog electronics, you know, if you know what are the operating reason of MOSFET, BJT, operational amplifier and their application and current and voltage equation in the respective region and how you can control the threshold voltage and the voltage current characteristics for each the devices in different different configuration between the different input output variable. Whenever you draw the characteristics then there are some critical point on those characteristics like cut in voltage like threshold voltage in case of the MOS. So how you can control these parameter or these points how you can make them right shift how you can make them left shift. What are the device constant or device physical constant on which these parameter uh, you know based. Similarly, if I talk about, you know, electronics device, what is built in field concept, you know, how the junction is formed, you need to know the entire electrostatic of the junction formation, the electric field distribution around the junction, and what is thermal equilibrium, what is steady state, Fermi level, quasi Fermi level, these kind of fundamental questions they ask. So guys, whenever you are appearing for the interview, they never ask you very advanced question they will never ask you a very you know difficult question they just want to assess your ability your knowledge on the fundamental question they want to see whether you have the fundamental clarity or not because the professors of IIT believes if you are having a fundamental clarity rest they will learn you know they will teach everything and they will provide you the platform the assignments the scenario case studies that you will learn everything the requirement is fundamental clarity. Now similarly, if I talk about the interdisciplinary or non-core branches like biomedical, e-mobility, smart mobility, e-waste, nanoscience, photonics, you know, IoT, sensors, cyber physical, you can name n number of branches which are available with different institutions, then the interview preparation is, you know, more hectic and you need to do it in the very smart way. Let us suppose you are getting a call for cyber physical from IIC Bangalore for interview let us suppose. So you cannot prepare blindly first you need to see and visit the website of IIC Bangalore what kind of project they are doing, what kind of research is being going there and what kind of project professors are doing there 
and you can see the PhD student who are currently enrolled there everything is available on the portal then accordingly you need to choose your subject wisely then you can decide if you're coming from the mechanical what set of subject you need to choose if you're coming from electronics what set of subject you need to choose if you're coming from electrical what set of subject you need to choose you can't blindly choose three topics see in core you can go you know what subjects are required but in non-core or interdisciplinary you need to choose subject very smartly keep this point in the mind that is all basically mentors of you people now third point is I'm making third category you want to go for machine learning specialization data science specialization artificial intelligence specialization then you must have at least one programming skill you know Python is one of the renowned language if you know the basic of Python then you can make justice in the interview they don't want you to know a lot of language at least they want it that you are accustomed and you know how to basically write the one coding language so if you are accustomed to the Python that will work for them and apart from this mathematics plays very very important role statistics your probability and linear algebra these three com components are very very important for DS AI ML courses now guys keeping in mind everything now what I am doing I am basically categorizing interview preparation into three categories first is mathematics second is subject technical subject third is the project project is one of the very important component of your interview preparation mathematics and project in fact they play very very important role irrespective of whether it's a core branch or non-core branch if you are getting call from the interdisciplinary branches then you must have a sound knowledge of the mathematics because they believe if you know how to find the mathematical solution how to do the mathematical modeling of the system then you may be further in future in position to implement that system practically so you must know mathematics from the very fundamental point of view you must be really good in the linear algebra and you must know how to draw the graph they make you people you know very confused regarding different kind of the function they float on you they ask to draw the different kind of the graphs that is a funding fundamental mathematics which you people used to study in the 12th class so they judge your ability there on the basis of your performance in those mathematics they can assess what basic knowledge you possess and now coming towards the very very important point that is the BTEC project see BTEC project is basically one project which you have all have done as a part of your curriculum requirement and it is considered as some activity by the IIT professors where you got some real hands-on exposure irrespective whether you have done it or purchased it but they consider that this is the project being done by you so whenever they want to assess your practical skills they want to assess your engineering skills so they ask a lot of questions from the project so first you need to decide what was your project was it purely into hardware domain automation domain software domain or what kind of domain or was it you know algorithm based or some language based entirely so obviously project is done by three to four students so first you need to configure what you are going to display there what was your role so choose that area where you are most comfortable see in IIT ISC it doesn't matter whether your project was very big very excellent solving some real world issue or it was very fundamental they will treat all the project equally yes in certain cases if some project is meeting with their you know future requirement or their current projects then they may rate it very high they may take, consider it as advantages from the student side but apart from this they consider all the project equally but point is doesn't matter whether you have done an excellent project or a fundamental project point is in both the cases you need to execute that knowledge on that particular day you need to showcase yes you have done that project and you have got some real hands-on experience irrespective it's a big or small right if I talk about project let us suppose you say you have used a lot of sensor so they may ask which sensor you used what are the specification of these sensors why you choose only this sensor what are the rating and range of this sensor any of the hardware module electrical electrical electronics component you used in what mode it communicates series of parallel communication what are the current and voltage rating so you must know these all things so guys whenever you are preparing for interview whatever module or hardware device you used in your project at least download the data sheet everything is available on the Google and just go through once at least those parameters stuck in your mind 
the same thing happen for the core electronics people if you're going for interview at least download the data sheet of open pic some bjt some uh, fet just to know that apart from uh, collector current vc voltage what are the other important parameter and why they are important so that will make a wider picture for you people when you're preparing for the interview and you are in position to intercept the question being asked you very easily and you can answer instantaneously see i always suggest interview is not about how much you know it is about how easily you are understanding and interpreting the question which is being asked to you and you need to respond instantaneously within those 15 to 20 minutes so it's a smart game smart play you need to rehearse it you need to practice it so there are a lot of snap mocks available on the portal you can listen them now next coming in project many time they ask student what is the cost of this device what is the cost of this component reason they want to check whether you have done this project actually or not or you have purchased it from somewhere else see usually what happen when we replicate the project when we don't have our own project and we try to take project from somebody else and some market we can prepare the working and how it's working and everything that we can prepare from the google and all but you all agree to me if we haven't done it at our own then there will be some all silly silly very basic basic thing which we will miss and they are very expert fellow they know how to judge you people whether you have done this or not they have those ticks they have those parameter and price of component is one of the very small parameter so there are so many things how to prepare for interview that all will be you know mentored or shared with you people uh, through this pgc module and mentor will be connected one on one with you people right so i hope i tried my best to give the brief idea why interviews are very important and how one can smartly play for the interview you don't need to read 10 subject first see what specialization you are being called for interview then which technical subjects are aligning with their requirement if it's interdisciplinary visit the website and see what kind of research work is going and start preparing accordingly choose your subject wisely accordingly prepare project really well and prepare mathematics basic really well and if possible try to learn one basic programming language that is python because in today's time there are so many open learning platform on the youtube and all you know where you can learn in very easy way so you can utilize these 15 to 30 45 60 days in learning one additional language and i am sure that will benefit you people in many multiple ways so i hope with these all tricks and tips they will help you a lot and if you have any specific query feel free to put down comment in the section so i will try to reply that and you can reach to us you can fill the google form attached in the descriptions to ask other queries and we will be honored to answer your queries right so we wish you all the best thank you